Hi. In the last couple of days, I have completed all the microservices based on the UK Open Banking specification, which I converted from uh, Swagger 2.0 to Open API 3.0, and split them into microservices from uh, uh, a monolithic specification. So ended up we have 11 microservices in the backend, and uh, I built a React application, which is a single page application that can access those services with the integrate with the OAuth provider, the Light OAuth in the Light platform. Now, let me just walk through the application. This application is already deployed in our test cloud. You can access it from uh, HTTPS slash OB dot light API dot net. Yeah, this is the home page. It has some information regarding to the application. And we have 11 microservices list here. If you go to the account and uh, you click the list, you can see the return value is, is uh, unauthorized, meaning you don't have the privilege to access the backend API yet. So you need to log in. Here is the login button. You can see the, the site is oblightapi.net. When I click the login button, the control redirect to obsignin.lightapi.net, which is another website. But however, those two websites actually are hosted on the same virtual domain based on the light router. The light router also acts as a reverse proxy for the client to access all the services in the backend. Now you can use uh, the two user ID, like Steve Hu, 123456, or Eric Borda, one, two, three, four, five, six. The username and password is in the home page already. Once I click the login button, it will send a request to the OAuth authorization code uh, endpoint, and we get back an authorization code. Then the login application will redirect back to the Reno application and the Reno application will send the request back to the light router to a component called stateless auth handler. That handler will basically pick up the authorization code and convert access the token service from the light OAuth tool to get access token. Once you log in, it display a consent page. The consent page will tell you, okay, this application would like to access accounts, which is the scope we defined in the OAuth. And you can select accept or deny. If you deny, you won't even have access to the backend APIs. I can select accept, and then you, the control is redirect back to the Reno website, oblightapi.net. Now I can select the list and you can see I got all the data come back from a backend APIs. And this is this particular list is accessing slash accounts. And if I select the filter, you can see I have two accounts belong to this user ID still who. And I can select one of them and I can do the filter. You get one particular account for still who with uh, this account ID is 22289. For other APIs, the same. You can try that out yourself. You can click balances. It will list all the accounts you have and each account balance. But the area account here is belong to the same user ID still who. If you log in with the other user, it will display a totally different result. The only difference is a, a state. In the state uh, statement, you can see we have two drop down lists. You can select uh, one account. At the same time, you can select a statement ID and you can filter by the account number as well as the statement ID. Account number is here, sorry, account ID. 
and you have statement ID here. This is a demo application. I I don't spend uh, I don't want to spend time to format the result because the data is pretty complicated. However, like for real application, you can make the UI uh, looks much more uh, pretty. Uh, let me show you another thing. Like if you select deny after the login on the consent page, what will happen? I haven't created a logout button yet. So I will just click this login button again to log in with another user. I'm going to use Eric Bada, uh password 123456. Then I click deny. You can see the website redirect to the uh, to the ob lightapi.net and then when I go to the accounts I click the list I got uh, unauthorized if I go to the filter I don't have any drop down button available because this user doesn't have any access to the backend yet so this concludes the uh, the walkthrough for the react application if you have any questions, please uh, find the contact information on the homepage. Thank you. Bye-bye.